Hello and welcome to this guided gratitude meditation. Before we begin, ensure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well whilst you're at that and turn on the notification bell as well. Uh, feel free to join us on Instagram at The Invisible Path. So let's get nice and comfortable, sit upright, raise your heart a little. Throughout this meditation, I'm gonna have my hand on my heart to essentially keep my frontal lobe focused because whenever, whenever you have to consciously hold a movement, you have to remain alert and focused. So um, standard mo uh, meditation might mean that you get a bit too comfortable, a bit relaxed, and that enables your automatic and unconscious streams of thinking and fe feeling to essentially take over. That's not what we want to do. We want to have our, our frontal lobe, the seat of our conscious awareness, our best self, if you will, our uh, personality traits and so on and so forth. We want that to remain at the forefront. So hand and heart sitting upright, raise your heart a little, get nice and comfortable. You may close your eyes as that can shut up off up to 80% of your sensory input, enabling you to drop down from uh, beta brainwave state into alpha brainwave state and perhaps even theta, which enables your subconscious to open so that you can influence your habits and yourself even more so. So sitting upright, take a few moments to just focus on breathing in deeply. Focus on inhaling that positive, loving energy, those elevated and regenerative emotions of love, compassion, gratitude, appreciation, thoughtfulness, connection, and so on. Breathe that in and exhale any negative egoic energy that's currently in you. Now, as you take in a few deep diaphragmatic and rhythmic breaths, ensure that you now focus on the connection between your mind and your heart. And so as you breathe in, I want you to focus on sending all your energy from within your heart and send it straight up to the mind, to, to your brain. What I like to do is I literally, as, even as my eyes are closed, I look down and as I focus on sending that loving energy up from my heart to my brain, I literally raise my eyes up as well. And it really feels as though you are channeling your energy because your brain and your heart are constantly in communication with one another. In fact, your heart actually communicates with your brain even more than your brain communicates with your heart. And so as you inhale, focus on sending that energy up from your heart and filling up your brain with that loving, positive, warm energy. And as you exhale, focus on sending that positive, thoughtful, compassionate energy back down to your heart, filling the vessels within your heart expand, feeling that energy, that oxygen, that love, if you will, fill up your heart, feel your heart expanding. Really focus on developing that connection, that constant feedback loop between your, your heart and your mind, sending that positive energy, feeling your heart expand, and then your heart sends energy back to the brain, which makes your brain expand. You may even want to give it a color, maybe red for obvious reasons. Some people want to use the color yellow or gold to imagine that loving energy filling up the mind and the heart, increasing brain and heart coherence, turning on the parasympathetic nervous system 
so that we can relax and feel more connected to ourselves, others and the universe. And now take a few moments to think of something that you are grateful for in your life. Perhaps an unconscious or biological process. The fact that you don't have to consciously focus on breathing throughout the day. The fact that you don't have to focus on digesting your food. Or you don't have to focus on this, your senses and paying attention to things in your environment. Or the fact that your heart is pumping blood around your body so much so that it enables your movements. Think about something that you are grateful for that you would ordinarily overlook. Thinking about potentially how your body heals itself when you rest, or the brilliant restorative improvements made to your genes, your hormones, your metabolism, your creativity as you sleep, and that your brain is actually more active when you are asleep than when you are awake, especially during REM sleep, deep sleep, dream state. There are so many things for us to be grateful for. Now take a few moments to think of something else that you already have in your life that you do feel grateful for. This can be a particular relationship. Maybe a deeper connection has been made. Maybe within yourself. Maybe with God or Allah or a spiritual being. Maybe you've developed your relationship with a distant relative or a distant friend. Maybe you're grateful for a better connection being made with a colleague at work, whatever it is to you. What relationship can you be grateful for that you have been developing within your life? And now take a few moments to already feel grateful for something that you want to achieve in your life. So focus on something that you've been wanting to experience or feel. And vividly imagine that what you want to manifest within your life. Imagine that it's already arrived, that you already feel whole or happy or content or connected or peaceful or joyous in your life. Maybe there's a certain hobby or skill or occupation or job or business that you wanted to launch. Already express gratitude for having made it a reality. Now that you already feel whole and grateful and connected, it's now time to give some of that abundance, some of that love to others. Because we cannot experience more of what we want if we aren't already experiencing it. And so sending love to others teaches your unconscious that you already are enough, that you already have enough, and that you feel blessed for that you have 
and all that you are unconsciously attracting into your life. And so take a few moments now to send positive and loving energy to someone very close to you, someone dear to you, perhaps a parent or a sibling, or your romantic partner, or your son or daughter, someone you love deeply, whom you're very close with. Wish them well, send them positive energy and feel them accepting and feeling this uplift of positive elevated energy right now. And now take a few moments to send the same deep and connected, loving, warm and positive energy to someone more outside of your circle, someone a bit distant, if you will, maybe an acquaintance, a distant friend, a distant relative, maybe a client of yours, especially someone who you feel could really do with some positivity or support in their lives. Send them your love, your appreciation for them, for who they are and not who you want them to be. And now focus on a collective, a group of people, perhaps an organization, a company that you really appreciate, a charity perhaps, or a hospital or an organization that you really value, that's doing something good for humanity, or that's making a change for people in their lives. Or maybe it's just a household, perhaps they could do with your support, your loving energy, your focus, your attention. And just focus on sending that pure loving energy. Because when you experience sending energy from a close loved one, to a distant friend, to a faraway group or collective. You're doing your part in improving not just your personal energy, not just social energy, but global energy, global coherence. And feel good about yourself for sending this loving energy to so many diverse people, for so many diverse reasons. And know that you are doing your part by not only improving the quality of your energy, your emotions, your attitude, your mood, but also know that for the rest of the day, the people with whom you encounter are also going to benefit like a domino effect from your positive energy. Because you are now in this very state becoming more pure energy, more divine energy than matter, than concrete, than an object. You are more godlike, if you will. So 
Speaking of which, spend a few moments now focusing on developing your connection with the greater intelligence, the creator of all things, that unconscious, unlimited, omnipotent power that controls everything, that controls your very being, your very aliveness. The very thing that's enabling your heart to beat right now. That's enabling you to breathe in and out. The very thing that takes care of everything for you, that loves you. With unconditional, unlimited energy. It's now time for you to send your love back to that universal power, to the source. spend a few moments asking for a gift from this universal power from this higher intelligence and ensure that your gift is something very meaningful to you perhaps related to your purpose your mission in your life some emotion or some experience or something that you wanted to manifest into your life and ask it for that loving support. And you can attract it yourself by vividly imagining this thing now, seeing it through your mind's eye, on your mental screen in your mind, in bright, vivid, meticulous detail and bright color, in HD resolution, ensuring that it takes up your entire field of vision, seeing it through your eyes, so if you were to look down, you would see your hands or your feet, for example. Really zoom in on the most important, meaningful parts within this image or mental movie. Pay attention to any sounds or smells or textures that you might feel or experience sensually in this moment. What would you feel in this experience? What could you taste? What could you hear internal or external sound? Is there any music? Memorize this feeling now because we are now conditioning our unconscious to move toward this beautiful experience or emotion. And that is the greater intelligence's gift for you. So feel grateful for already having manifested it. Now I will count down from five to one and when I will reach one, you may open your eyes. Five. Four. Slowly bring yourself back to your waking reality. Three. Two. Gently sensing the energy in your eyelids. Gently opening your eyes and one. How beautiful, eh? I don't know about you, but my mind, my body is totally feeling ecstatic and filled with energy. You should ideally feel a lot lighter, a lot more relaxed. You should be experiencing fewer thoughts per minute now in this beautiful, grateful state and understand that the whole purpose of doing this 
especially on a daily basis, is to change to change your energy, to get into the right zone, to be able to flow and ease with life's routines and life's obstacles that are inevitable, so that you could just take it in your stride and understand that no matter what happens, you feel loved, you feel connected, you feel strong, and that's what develops our personal power. So thank you so much for joining us today. I hope it's made a difference to how you think and feel in your mood. Ensure that you take this energy with you throughout the rest of the day. Again, remember guys, I am here whenever you need to. Just just join us and look up this video. Ensure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It means so much to help spread the word so that other people can experience this level of energy and vibrancy and love because we all deserve to experience this. So ensure that you do your part and recommend these videos and share it if you can as well. Follow me on Instagram and do your part there as well at The Invisible Path. Have a great day. Stay strong and I'll speak to you soon.